This is Twit. What, tell us the latest, greatest technology advances in SSD, Alan Melvintano. Oh, boy. Anything? <laughs> You're just lining me up to really seem biased for my own. Uh, oh, go ahead. Is it so <laughs> Let me guess. Is it coming to us from Solodyne Synergy 2.0? Listen, if I was still running the beat doing the SSD reviews, I would have been, I would have loved to be able to be the person to write the article that John Coulter here was able to write. In Tweak Town. Uh, so what is it? What is, why is software matter with an SSD? Well... As it turns out, if you start really digging into performance of SSDs for various tasks and you start doing really detailed analysis and tracing and seeing, okay, is there any low-hanging fruit left that we can squeeze out of the system and make this thing quicker that is not necessarily all about, oh, we have to do Gen 5 PCI. We have to do this. We have to, do, we have to throw all of this hardware at it. Is it possible to squeeze some extra performance out from some optimizations elsewhere in the stack. And as we have discovered, the answer to that is yes. Oh. And that is in the form of a driver, which we now make and is a part of the Synergy 2.0 software that we just happened to launch last Wednesday. So when you get Windows, you get a standard Microsoft NVMe driver. Can you replace yep. this with a Solidime uh, driver? You Not only can you, but our software does it for you and oh, it's free. Okay. And does yep. it make a difference? I mean, will it work with other SSDs? So there's a couple of points to the software. There's the driver piece, and the driver piece uh, has some benefits for... There's uh, one of our SSD models called a P41 Plus, which is a QLC SSD, which has a cache, as, as most SSDs do, especially QLC SSDs. Um, and our driver, in that case helps that product be smarter about how it uses the cache. So it's able to do things that a normal SSD can't do because normal SSDs have no idea what's running around, what's running on Windows, right? So the driver is the thing that can sort of link those two halves together a little bit more So you'll better. get more uh, benefit in Windows than you would say in Linux or Mac OS or... Absolutely more benefit in, yeah. in Windows. We have to focus on Windows. That's where the, I mean, everybody sure. knows that's where the bulk of everybody is. Yeah. And we're, you know, our driver guys are working as hard as they can just to get to, to accomplish what they've accomplished so far. So unfortunately, we can't make it, you know, work everywhere. We had to focus on the biggest fish right yeah. now, and that is that Windows. Um, there's also some other pieces in the driver that are things that you wouldn't actually get a benefit from so much on the Linux side because they're things that the Windows driver just... Microsoft isn't going to sit there and endlessly optimize their driver. They're just going to do what they need to do to make it work. Um, we had the extra cycles to burn on making it better and more optimized. So we did a bunch of optimization on you know on, and along those avenues and found some low-hanging fruit and we're able to get some extra gains there as well. So um, gamers and PC, other PC master race uh, people have probably long been aware that you can tweak your SSDs to get better performance. Uh, Samsung offered software to do that for a while, the magician. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Tweak Town's conclusion is this is the successor, uh, Synergy 2.0. It makes, they said, as much as an 8% uh, difference in performance, enough so that an inexpensive uh, Solidime SSD can outperform uh, the higher end um, uh, Samsung EVO Extreme models. That's pretty darn good. Yeah, it's actually, I was pleasantly surprised. Remember, I usually tend to look at these things objectively, even if I happen to work at the company, right? And part of my job yeah. at the company is to, sure just to make sure do. that yeah. make sure that we're testing the things correctly, things like that, right? And uh, I was, when I came on board and started testing, testing this new, these new drivers, even I was kind of like, wow. Okay. How, how much? I'm, I'm excited. How much does it cost? How much does the driver cost? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> well, how, so now, how much is, would you pay? The, the driver is one piece. Uh, it's also there's also a Synergy uh, U, UI that's also a part of the package, and that gives you your typical toolbox type functionality that you would have seen and with you know other competing things over the years, right? Every SSD maker tends to have their own little software package you can install to do various things like secure erase and other, you know, your other utility type functions of the, of, of for storage in general, right? Um, we're doing our best to be more open about that as well. So while the driver is the thing that's really just attached to, to benefit our hardware, um, the, the UI and then the toolkit type software that we, that we are providing, 
we try to make it as open as we can. So for example, to secure erase an SSD, uh, we are opening up secure erase. Most companies only make it work with their own product. We're making it follow the standard, you know, NVMe secure erase uh, type operations. So as long as even if it's our competitor's SSD, we don't care. As long as it conforms to the standard way to secure erase an SSD, our software will let the user do it, right? Nice. We're not we're not trying to lock everybody into a to a walled garden. You know, we so, really want our our software to be like a Swiss Army knife for doing SSD type things. For a long time, uh, you know, I always recommend Intel uh, SSDs, uh, probably because you told me they were the the best. This is before you even worked for Intel, and the and the software and the uh, firmware was the best. Uh, yep. This is essentially Intel's former SSD division, which they spun off. Yes, these are not new SSDs, right? These are, this is essentially a Q, an, an, uh, a continuation of all of the work that had been done, all of the pedigree from all of the work done back at Intel, right? This, it's the same team. It's all the same yeah. folks. Yeah. They just spun off and they, you know, began this new company, this new initiative, Solidime, and the work continues and, you know, the... The engineers, I don't know what it was, but something about that spinoff and that move and everything, the, the engineering guys and the driver guys, like they really just, something yeah. lit and they just started really, you know, putting out some some amazing work. So you get this driver software just by when you buy a Solidime SSD. I mean, it's not in the box. It's just there's a link, oh, link you to the website. Oh, okay. you Go okay. to the website, download it. So if yeah, you're using a Solidime SSD on Windows, you should probably get this software because it'll make a difference. You're just leaving performance on the table if right, you don't. Right. It's it's just it's just silly. You know the other thing that blows me away is, you know, when SSDs first came out, and one of the things we always talked to you about on uh, this week in computer hardware was, well, are they going to be reliable? Are they going to be robust? Are they going to last as long as spinning drives? They it seems to be are more robust and reliable than spinning drives. Yes. I mean, it depends. But they're pretty. Uh, it really is down to there. No, there's no they're, disadvantage. Is right. there? There's, and they're there's, a lot there's, faster. I mean, okay, there used to be a disadvantage in the fact of hard drives you could just keep writing and they would never wear out. But right. modern hard drives actually start to come with an endurance rating of their own right. as far as how many petabytes you can pass through the, the heads in the disk. So that the thing that used to be a, a differentiating factor is kind of no more at this point. So they're, it's, they're even more on, on a level playing field. Um, well, and the price per gigabyte used to be ridiculous for SSDs. I'm see this is a Solidime <laughs> two terabyte drive for a, under a hundred bucks. Yep. Mind for, well, I don't know if you I don't know if you remember because you you might have not caught the PC Perspective podcast, but like for years, Ryan Shrout went on and on chanting ten cents a gig, right, as a price point that he was hoping that we would get to. And the thing you just showed is it a nickel? Is five cents a gig. It's a nickel a gig. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Unbelievable. We live in amazing times. That's all I can say. And thank you for the work you do. Uh, you sold me. So from now on, no more Samsung uh, 980 Pros. You get the same oh, performance boy. for less. Uh, I, I'm saying it, not <laughs> hey, you. Trust trust the independent reviewers, not me. I work for the company, so don't, don't take my word as gospel. Uh, like, take I'm the press guy's impressed. word. Yeah, well, that's what uh, the tweak guy said, so I believe him. Yeah, I mean, I'm 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 happy to like. I like that I'm working here. Yes, it's yeah, it sucks that I no longer work in the press and no longer get to play in the in that in that battlefield. But uh, this makes up for it. Being oh, knowing that I'm you. working on stuff that really yeah. you know is, is yeah. doing good, right? Nice new review. John Coulter just just came out a couple of days ago at tweaktown.com. Get the get the new Solidime Synergy 2.0 SSD software when you get your. SSD from Soda Dime. Thank you, Alan. It's great to see you. Someday I just want you to do a tour of all the stuff on your bookshelves behind you. Oh, we don't have that kind of time. It's crazy. <laughs> What's going on back there? There's a lot there. Yeah. Well, may this. I need, may to, the I need to prune. It may, keeps growing. <laughs> may the fourth be with you. <laughs> and, and may the Sith be with you as well. Those, uh, are, those are mostly the influence of my lovely wife who likes the Star Wars. Oh, Lego okay. Stuff. Oh, okay. She's the geek, huh? Yep. Great to see you. Thank you so much for being here. Listeners of this program get an ad-free version if they're members of Club Twit. $7 a month gives you ad-free versions of all of our shows, plus membership in the Club Twit Discord, a great clubhouse for Twit listeners. 
And finally, the Twit Plus feed with shows like Stacy's Book Club, The Untitled Linux Show, The Giz Fizz, and more. Go to twit.tv slash club twit. And thanks for your support.